So this is going to be a fantastic show. Yeah, it better be, because tonight we're keeping score. Yes, and on a scale of one to ten, here's your score so far. <laughs> so that was Alice Cooper. You should see his sister, James Fenimore. <laughs> Where do you suppose he got the name Alice? Oh, it's a family name. Hmm. He was named after a maiden uncle. <laughs> oh. Is he a bouncing baby boy? I don't know, but we're high enough up to find out. Hey, are you speaking Hawaiian? No, I bit my tongue. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I always heard that music can soothe the savage beast. Now I believe it. Yeah, good thing the lion learned to sing. Stallone would have killed him. <laughs> well, they say all good things come to an end. What's that got to do with this show? <laughs> Are these seats taken? No, take them! <laughs> uh, how'd you like that song by those prairie dogs? Well, there's a number I could go for. <laughs> go for <laughs> prairie dogs. That Roy Rogers is one good singer. Yep, but if he does any of those rope tricks, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put this show out of its misery. <laughs> okay, partner. I want to see you dance. Oh. Now dance! Oh. Oh. Dance! Dance! <laughs> Boy, that, that's beautiful. Do you think I could dance like that? Well, of course. Oh! Oh! My foot! Oh! Oh! Moo! No! Boo! Boo! what you say tonight. I think the place is bugged. <laughs> you know, seeing a number like that always makes me nostalgic. Yeah? Nostalgic for what? DDT. <laughs> <laughs> so they blew up half the theater. At least they blew up the right half. There. there. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd this lobster come from? Newburgh. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, that's great, the way. Great. Uh, now, why can't they do numbers like that? We just did. <laughs> So you did. Uh, wasn't very good after all. Uh, ooh! Boo. Terrible! Well, that's talent. An mm. opera singer who tap dances and sings cowboy songs. I wonder if there's anything she isn't good at. Yes? Choosing what show to be on. <laughs> Wake up! Mm. Who's the guest star tonight? Beverly Hills? Uh, I've been there before. Mm. Well, that kind of act only comes once in a lifetime. If you're lucky. <laughs> well, I could listen to her sing till the end of time. Well, she doesn't sing that. Not her style. Oh. Well, no, no, I mean I could listen to her sing forever. Well, she doesn't sing that either. Why don't you just check yourself into the old fool's home while I still have a bed left? Arthur! Arthur! Is he here? Hmm? Who? Arthur. Oh, go back to sleep. <laughs> Why us? Oh! Well, wow, that number scared the pants off me. <laughs> you sure you didn't just forget to put them on again? This is the most wonderfully scary actor since Thudge McGurk. <laughs> Thudge McGurk. I'll never forget him. His last film was Phantom of the Soap Opera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after that, he went berserk. They say he still haunts theaters around the world. <laughs> Three eyes, green hair, mm. long orange words, and big, long, ugly fangs. Mm. Horrible, man, horrible. Ah! <laughs> oh! Hey, listen, on your way back up, bring some popcorn. <laughs> With butter. <laughs> well, this show should be reported to the Consumer Protection Agency. Mm, why? The host was just consumed. <laughs> uh, don't count on it. Hey, this is our box, fella. Let me see your ticket stub. <laughs> well, by the way, I thought your wife was coming tonight. Ah, uh, the old bat couldn't come. Uh, 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 well, the rest of them sure made it. Uh. Well, that's easy for you to say. Slip through it. <laughs>
Uh, me too, that's why I asked. <laughs> well, that Twiggy makes my heart sing. Yeah, well, well let me hear. Hmm? <laughs> nice song. But your pacemaker needs tuning. <laughs> she didn't make a fool of him. Nope. He managed it all by himself. <laughs> <laughs> well, every week this show looks better to me. Every week your eyesight gets worse. <laughs> that song had a nice beat. No, no, I don't want to eat. <laughs> I said beat, beat, you old fool. Why don't you turn up your hearing aid? There's going to be a raid. Well, let's get out of here. I give up. <laughs> yeah, so oh, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. I remember Ethel Merman in the opening of Panama Hattie. You're old enough to remember Teddy Roosevelt in the opening of the Panama Canal. <laughs> <laughs> ah, she and Kermit make a nice pair. Well, she certainly is a peach. <laughs> four, four. Hey, wait, look, there is more. Oh, good grief, they heard me. I wonder why I'm so itchy. Maybe the show is starting to get under your skin. <laughs> Maybe this week they'll be funny. Wanna bet? Well, why would they have a bunch of chickens sing baby face? Because the alligators were sick. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Terrible. Awful. I hated it. Uh, wonderful. Uh, spectacular. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. He shouldn't have jumped. The show's not that bad. Why do we keep doing this? You suppose they have any life on other planets? What do you care? You don't have any life on this one. <laughs> don't tell me you like that trash. Oh, my hand went to sleep. Oh. I wouldn't mind this show if they just got rid of one thing. What's that? Me? <laughs> Why don't we all go home and read a book? <laughs> I didn't understand the word of that. Mit Brustel et der Flutflut. Oh, well, why didn't they say that in the first place? <laughs> hey, wake up. What do you think of that last number? Oh, 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 that George Phyllis is a wonderful singer. You mean Phyllis George is a wonderful singer. They're both terrific. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Phyllis George won. No one else is here. <laughs> well, the others would be dumb enough to come back. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe those rats were responsible for this show. Why not? They were also responsible for the bubonic plague. Oh, oh they were terrific. Well, they should be. They've been practicing since 1908. <laughs> was that Diane? Sure it was. Didn't you recognize her? I thought she wore a black patch over one eye. No, no, no. That's her sister, Marcia Diane. <laughs> I don't understand him. Why doesn't he go back to what he was doing before he became a chef? What was that? Nothing. <laughs> You think this show constitutes cruelty to animals? Not unless they're watching it. <laughs> well, I think I'll go to the dentist. No? Sure, after this show, nothing hurts. <laughs> you know, if this show was an airplane, it would have been grounded. <laughs> I like that tune. How about you? I like New York in June. How about you? <laughs> you know, I'll always regret that I didn't study Shakespeare when I was a kid. When you were a kid, you could have talked to Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been an evening to remember. Why? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Statler, he couldn't take it anymore. Oh, what a great number. We should send roses back to Carol Channing. What do we give the weird guys with the big eyes? Fifty lashes. <laughs> <laughs> With friends like these... Who needs emeralds? <laughs> well, on a scale of one to ten, we give it a uh, three. Oh, well, maybe it wasn't that good. Let's give it a one. <laughs> you gave him a one? He's never been better. <laughs> Keep it up, frog. So we're not doing so bad after all. I wouldn't say that. Right now the score is Diana Ross 10, Muppets 3. <laughs> well, 
I've seen many an egg laid on this show, but this is a first. Why? They laid a deviled egg. Oh! <laughs> you look back too kindly, old gentleman. Can I hide here? Hey, Ellen, here's one you missed. <laughs> Who could ask for anything more? We could. Yeah, earplugs. <laughs> <laughs> a very funny thing happened to me on the way to the theater. Too bad it didn't happen after you got here. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, mission accomplished. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, please. I'm begging, please. Just, just one joke. That's all I ask. Just one joke. I think he deserves that, don't you? No, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, <clears throat> joke. What do you get when you cross the Atlantic with the Titanic? I don't know. What do you get when you cross the Atlantic with the Titanic? Halfway. <laughs> That's pretty funny. No, it isn't. Hmm? I was on that ship. Wasn't funny then, and it isn't funny now. <laughs> well, why'd you do that to poor Fozzie? Do what? I really was on the Titanic. I know. You still have the dress you wore so they'd let you in the lifeboat. <laughs> <laughs> you think that Jekyll Hyde stuff is expensive? No, my wife has a whole glass of it every morning. <laughs> <laughs> why do we always come here? I guess we'll never know. It's like a kind of torture to have to watch the show. Boo boo! Say the men in the theater box. Don't boogie, boogie in, in the barnyard. barnyard. <laughs> uh, fire down below. Great number. Thanks. Thanks. You didn't write fire down below. No, but the guy who did had just had a bowl of my chili. <laughs> <laughs> I bought gold back when it was cheap. Really? Where is it now? Oh! <laughs> uh, a great little actress. Yep, and getting smaller all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that girl's a big talent. Yep, and getting bigger all the time. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of Humpty Dumpty? Terrible. I hate off-the-wall comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it should be declared a mistrial. What do you mean, miss? He hit every one of them. <laughs> What's that noise? I think that's Lewis Carroll turning over in his grave. <laughs> hey, don't start on our account. <laughs> uh, you know, it's too bad Gonzo's leaving the show. Yeah, I can think of some other people I'd rather see leave the show. Who? Me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you ever go to those dances? Can't. I've got a slip disco. <laughs> <laughs> What are they doing with those spoons? Okay. Scraping the bottom of the barrel. Mm, I'm not surprised. That's how they get all their acts. <laughs> you know, Gonzo would have been perfect for that movie he was going to star in. What movie was that? The Revenge of the Little Blue Geek. <laughs> <laughs> What's this fish doing in our box? The same as us, suffering. Uh, I wonder why they didn't just let Arlo do a solo. They were afraid if they left him alone, he'd make a run for it. <laughs> <laughs> Those heifers are pretty good hoofers. <laughs> yeah, just hope it doesn't curdle the milk. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was different. I should say so. So many of these songs are long and boring. Yes, they finally managed one short and boring. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean they're getting better or worse? <laughs> <laughs> Was that supposed to be poetry? Yes, the bear has gone from bad to verse. Oh! <laughs> well, as they say in France, adios. Well, that's Spanish. I know, I don't speak French. <laughs> <laughs> don't start. We haven't left yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> You think the lobsters would share some of their popcorn with us? No chance. They're too shellfish. Oh! <laughs> too shellfish. Mm, what'd you think of Linda? Terrific. Yeah, how about that rubber band? Well, make them into a tire and drive them to Pittsburgh. <laughs> how come chickens are getting so big on this show? Well, chickens thrive on corn. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> grief, you've turned into... Money man! What do you think of pigs on bikes? I never have liked road hogs. <laughs> <laughs> road hogs! <laughs> what are those little flying things? Snowbirds? Oh, snow good either. Oh, Lord, it's here we go. <laughs> 
know, something doesn't have to be funny to be good. What'd you think of this show? It was good. <laughs> <laughs> and Sundance. After an escape like that, they'll have to hide out in some dismal, dark, depressing hole in the wall. <laughs> we'll hide out here, Butch. <laughs> How about that? They brought the house down. <laughs> That's an old joke. Well, some things improve with age. You don't. <laughs> I'll have to introduce the final number. Everyone else around here has turned Swedish. Not all of us, you old bat. Some of us were the Fergie Now you are too, you Martin Warren Fergie. So much for that. New Gavnorska Brock first new. The Morris Fergie Moore and I demand it now. Wait a minute, I can talk. The spell is broken. We're saved. Uh, <laughs> Well, it's just that your time is up. You guys only paid me for the half hour case. Well, thank goodness. Ingongers, very debut. You're the spirit, the spirit. Ingongers, very new mongers. How much do you want not to start? <laughs> I wonder if we'll be called up as witnesses at the trial. What trial? Well, you don't think Andy's gonna take this line down? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna see my lawyer. Why? I'm gonna find out if you can sue a show for breach of taste. Oh, <laughs> oh please don't make us watch it again. <laughs> you know the trick I'd like the frog to do? What's that? Make us disappear. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever see anything put together worse than that? Yeah, my first wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's all, folks. <laughs> Personally, I don't care for puppets much. I don't find them believable. I don't believe you. Oh. <laughs> All right. Bravo. All right. It's all right. <laughs> Boo. Terrible. Bad. Not bad. Oh, well, pretty good. Okay. Decent. Fair. Great. I loved it. Bravo. <laughs> Poor Fuzzy. I don't know whether to laugh or feel sorry for him. He wanted to make us laugh. I feel sorry for him. Oh! <laughs> 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 well, those mummies didn't exactly bring the house down. Oh, well, the roofers are handling that. <laughs> Great number. I love trains. Yeah, but planes are safer. They are? Sure. I only rode on a train once and it had an accident. What happened? A plane fell on it. Oh! <laughs> well, that number goes back a long ways. Well, it didn't go back far enough. Mm. I could still see it. Oh! <laughs> Bravo! Well, where are you? Quiet. Uh, we'll get pneumonia. Big deal. This show always makes us sick. <laughs> How, how'd you like that? I don't know. I'll ask the avocado. <laughs> well, what'd you think? Ooh, loved it, loved it, loved it. <laughs> That's amazing. No, it's not. He's been a Pearl Bailey fan for years. <laughs> <laughs> Poor fellow, lost his nose. Mm, how will he smell without it? Same as always. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> terrific, terrific, wonderful. Uh, say, is your friend the avocado here some kind of professional critic? Nah, he's just unemployed. You should go to work. Try to make something of yourself. Ooh, like what? Guacamole. <laughs> I didn't like it. What do the avocado think? It's the pits. <laughs> <laughs> hey, aren't we in the wrong place? I wish we were, but there's the frog. That's what you call a wire act. On this show, everything's a wire act. No? Sure, you keep asking... Why are they doing that? Oh! <laughs> Is that their act? Yep. Well, how come they don't talk? Because it's mime. I thought you said it was theirs. <laughs> hey, what's the name of the movie playing at the drive-in? Uh, I, I don't know. What's the point? You'll find out if you're there with a porcupine. <laughs> uh, all right, moving right along. <clears throat> 
As you all know, elephants hate spaghetti. So with that in mind, picture if you will. Wait a minute. Italian elephants don't hate spaghetti. They love it. Uh, this is not an Italian elephant. Uh, this one hates spaghetti. Do you mind? <laughs> see, see, and, and then he's, oh, he's got me by the throat. Ah, and then he's trying to kill me. Ah! He might as well. Uh, You've been dying all night. Uh, It'll put you out of your misery. Uh, uh, It'll uh, put us out of ours, too. <laughs> See, see, he's got, he's, he's, uh, he's, oh, wait, you don't, this is art, please. I, I, oh, picture, if you will, a bear crawling off stage. I don't understand him. Why doesn't he do something clever like walking upstairs or walking against the wind? No way. The bear's got no imagination. <laughs> no. Just when you think this show is terrible, something wonderful happens. What? It ends. Oh. <laughs> Run for your lives. This show is murder. <laughs> Not Liza. We love Liza. Oh, we didn't mean to bump her off. No, just the rest of you guys. <gasps> I knew it. Scratch a critic and you get an assassin. <laughs> then, then your death scene was a trick? Well, after all, darling, I mean, I am an actress. Bravo! Yeah, best performance we've seen on this show in years. <laughs> How long are we here for? 20 years. If I'd known that judge was giving us the box, I'd have asked for the chair. <laughs> <laughs> I love good gypsy music. So? So I wish they'd play some. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you think? Yeah, I know what you... Well, this place is cleaner than the theater. Hmm, true. Seats are more comfortable, too. Yeah. Yeah, if only the entertainment lives down to my expectations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the rhyming song, huh? They're really getting desperate. Mm. Desperation's a good sign. Soon they may panic and run away. <laughs> <laughs> well, what'd you think? Well, a bit shaky. Ward started over less than that. Wrong. There's nothing less than that. <laughs> Have you ever thought there must be life after death? Every time I leave this theater. <laughs> oh. Weird. Why did they want the igloo? What? Why did they want the igloo? Well, maybe someone broke their ig. <laughs> you know, usually operetta music puts me right to sleep. You too, huh? <laughs> what are we waiting for? For it to get tacky. Well, another first on this show. How's that? Well, it's the first time we've had to wait for it to get tacky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that must be the glue, all right. Well, what glue is that? The one they mend the egg with. <laughs> Good night. So long. Oh, no. Statler and Waldorf? No, looks like they split for good. Maybe they didn't like the acoustics. Why, can't you hear what's being said on stage? Every word. <laughs> what are you doing, Scooter? I'm looking for Statler and Waldorf. They're missing. Hey. Hey, there they are. <laughs> well, I tell you, it's almost as bad out here as it is inside. Yes. <laughs> Either way, we're sitting around looking at garbage. <laughs> Still, I'd rather be here for this show. Yeah, yeah, the Muppets are always about the same. But this week's guest star, yeah. who? What's his face, Kane? Yeah, who? I tell you, he is the worst performer on earth. <laughs> no, you can't be serious. Well, I am so. No, he's not the worst performer on earth. Well, then who is? Clive Kowinga, the singing civil servant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. He is pretty bad. What an act. He sings the whole pest control code in the key of F. Mm. Then he sings it again because he has to do everything in duplicate. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh. But what's his face, Kay, is a little worse. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't cross the street to see that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Every show, Stadler and Waldorf sit up here. Show after show after show. Now I see why. You see why they come? 
No, I see why they left. Oh, oh wow. Look, there's a bag full of fruits and vegetables up here. Hmm. Perchance Statler and Waldorf were thinking of throwing a party. Well, this much food won't go very far. Well, they only wanted to throw it as far as the stage. Oh, oh, oh for sure. Well, I wonder if that K has done his act yet. Well, thank goodness we're not there to know. Imagine a tuned clam player. Mm, I hate that Manny K. <laughs> Manny K? Oh, why, it's Danny K. Well, what? Sure. You're one of our favorites. Oh, better than the tuned clam player? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Now I wish we had seen the show. Huh? Come on in, fellas. Uh, Here we go. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Now you're getting their part of their family. Yeah. There was something thrilling about being in the show tonight. Yep. Not having to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen enough. Let's leave. That banana boat's a wonderful number. Yeah, and look what they did to it. <laughs> I have a good mind to go home. You had a good mind, you wouldn't be here in the first place. <laughs> I think that number raises a pertinent question. What's that? Why did they do it? <laughs> <laughs> Don't look now, but I think there's penguins among us. You know, I thought the Pilgrim Fathers were against show business. They were against entertainment. This doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur, Arthur! Don't you mean author, author? His name's Arthur. Arthur Miller. No, no, no. It's Roger Miller. Oh. Roger, Roger! <laughs> These chickens sure make for a different show. Yeah, but it'll all add up to the same old turkey. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> I bet you were expecting chickens. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> woof, 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 woof. Well, I've seen a lot of versions of Robin Hood, but none to match this one. How's that? The others were all good. <laughs> What'd you think of Miss Piggy's outfit? I think she ought to kick the habit. <laughs> That's an old joke. So are you. <laughs> the legend of Robin Hood will never die. No, but it sure got wounded pretty bad tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that number shows what a great actress Leslie Uggams is. Actress? She wasn't acting, she was singing. Yes, but she looked like she enjoyed it. That's acting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for now from Muppet Lads. Oh, dear. Oh. What do you suppose they call that? A novelty act? I don't know, but it wasn't too bad. Well, that's a novelty. <laughs> This show has always reminded me of a sardine. Why? It's a little fishy. Have <laughs> <laughs> we ever said that this show is for the birds? Yes, and we'll keep saying it till it gets a laugh. <laughs> Why don't they make things funny? <laughs> oh, poor little guy. Hope he's not hurt. Well, at least he got the pig to stop singing. <laughs> Ever gone to a witch doctor? They're all witch. Ever heard of a poor doctor? <laughs> Did you see that? Yes, the frog is certainly taking a beating on this show. Yeah, it's hard to feel sorry for him. We take a beating every show. <laughs> <laughs> they sell insurance for this show? <laughs> What's the hard hat for? I want to be ready in case they start throwing pigs at us again. <laughs> I wonder how the frog did it. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, that puppet looks so alive. Well, that's more than I can say for you. <laughs> well, I just learned something about the Swedish chef I didn't know before. What's that? Cooking is the second worst thing he does. <laughs> well, shall we call it a night? Might as well. Certainly wouldn't call it a show. <laughs> <laughs> Quit while you're ahead. You know, I didn't know pigs could do that. Be that talented? No, be that bad. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> See, his new material isn't bad. Yes, but his new haircut is awful. <laughs> <laughs> now I know it's the haircut. Mm. <laughs> 
Double pork. Double pork. The worst. The worst. The worst. The worst. The worst. The worst. <laughs> Pigs may have taken over, but there's one thing about the show they haven't changed. What's that? It's still not funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. I'll tell the world. Go ahead. That was weird. Weird. <laughs> weird. 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 Think we'll be entertained tonight? I will. I brought a book. How do they do that? Do what? <laughs> Am I crazy or was that good? You're crazy. I thought so. Boy, that number was something else. You mean it was good? No, it was something else. <laughs> I liked that last number. What did you like about it? It was the last number. Oh. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Copenhagen. <laughs> certainly suited Gonzo. It did? Yep, suited him right down to the ground. Oh. <laughs> well, I didn't think I'd live to see it, but for once they've given us something other than second-rate entertainment. What's that? Third-rate entertainment. <laughs> you know, they can improve the whole show if they just change the ending. How? Oh. Put it closer to the beginning. <laughs> well, it's downhill from here. Here! Catch! Waste of time. Nothing will save this show. <laughs> uh, that song brings back memories. What memories? I forgot. That patrol of Clark sure can carry a tune. Yeah, she's got to do better than that tonight. She's got to carry the whole show. Oh! <laughs> well, I wish they had done that differently. How would you want them to do it? Better. <laughs> All right, Frog, we watch the show. Yeah, unlock the doors. How much to get things started? We just learned that the Muppet Show is being shown in 108 different countries. Uh-oh. Better get out your old army uniform. Yes, with 108 angry countries, there's bound to be trouble. Huh? <laughs> Where is the land of the rising sun? I don't know. I never get up that early. Terrific! <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's not clever. Anyone can drop their pants. I didn't know you were Lithuanian. <laughs> what was that? That was very strange. It was very weird. Peculiar. It was kind of amusing. Yes, it was rather funny. It was incredibly funny. I loved it. Hilarious. <laughs> Wonderful. Landing safely between those two elderly gentlemen. What? Oh, I can assure you, you'll be in no danger. You're right. We'll be in Chicago. <laughs> For their own safety, uh, while they were dozing, I took the precaution of chaining them to their chairs. <laughs> On my mark. Get set. Go. You know, I really like that. Yep, me too. Are we in the right theater? <laughs> <laughs> and now for the second time this evening, the great Gonzo will attempt a motorcycle jump off of this stage into that box up there, landing safely between those two elderly gentlemen. We're not afraid. We know Gonzo. If at first you don't succeed, fail, fail again. <laughs> And so here he is now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm ready, Kermit! Yeah, I'm introducing you. Introduce fast, I'm really ready. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the great Gonzo! <laughs> there! That was easy, wasn't it? Oh. You know, this show's beginning to roll. So's the motorbike. <laughs> Let's get this turkey!
Ricky on the road. Oh, J.P. Morgan is terrific. Yep, but that number was for the birds. <laughs> you had to do that joke, huh? Uh, one of us had to, and I lost the toss. <laughs> Oh, wait just a minute. That's the second time tonight they've used a bomb joke. <laughs> Three's a charm. Next introduction. Oh, yeah? Well, he's the only one who does. <laughs> hey, hey, come on, guys. No heckling. I mean, I'm not even out here to tell jokes. Have you ever been? <laughs> hey, you know that that bear is funny. You're right. In fact, I never enjoyed you more than I did last week. Hmm. Oh, th well, I, I didn't do an act last week. I rest my case. No! Let me go! For you. <laughs> uh, do you suppose that means we'll never see them again? Well, we can always hope. <laughs> <laughs> I now realize television has one major advantage over a live stage show. Oh? What's that? A television you can turn off. <laughs> I wonder if anybody watches this show besides us. Besides me. We're old men! Give us a break! That Lou Rawls is one fantastic singer. <laughs> so am I. Hey, you want to hear me sing? Well, only if you sing solo. Solo? So low I can't hear. <laughs> I just love scat. What? Scat! Scat! What is there a pussy cat in here? <laughs> hey, this is a great way for Fozzie to do his material. Yeah, a moving target is harder to hit. <laughs> oh yeah? Well watch this. I I I'm gonna tell this next joke while skating, skating backwards and, and with my foot in the air, wiggling my ears. Here goes. You are, uh, 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 okay. Guy, guy walks into to a diner. There's a horse behind the counter. The guy just looks at the horse. The horse says, what's the matter? Surprised to see me here? And the guy says, yeah. Did the cow sell the place? Ah! Oh, oh, oh. He was doing okay till he fell off the stage. Wrong. He was doing okay till he came on the stage. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Did the cow sell the place? Ha ha ha! I love tonight's show. Really? Of course not. Just wanted to see if I could say it. <laughs>